Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Today has been an epic day for me, you all. Um, we had such an amazing live over on Instagram. We spoke to Shadi, uh, an amazing perfumer, and the creative director, Ahmed, of Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. And um, we did a live over on Instagram. So if you did not catch it in real time, please head over to my page. It's actually on my page fragged out swagged out page which is rico and watch that live so much good information and uh, you get to see behind the scenes of what the perfumer was thinking about what they went through the composition of the fragrance um how they dealt with you know uh, creating the fragrance all that good stuff so y'all head over there please continue to like i hope you are subscribed turn on those notification bells all that good stuff and let's get into this fragrance house i am going to feature in the beginning the fragrance that is a new release uh, which is Trouble in Paradise, and this was inspired by Maldives. And then we're also gonna talk about a couple of other fragrances from the house that I have in my collection, and literally the entire line of the fragrance house. Uh, but I have uh, five full bottles here, and I think they have like a total of uh, seven or eight fragrances. And then there are some on the way that I am super excited about that we learned about today as well. Um, so if you wanna hear about Memoirs of a Perfume Collector, then please continue to watch. You know, uh, make sure you give your girl a thumbs up and make sure you're, you're subscribed. So this is a British brand fragrance house, um, a newer British brand fragrance house that's been around for about two, three years. And um, I have absolutely fallen in love. You guys I know that I talk to you uh, about Tales from Zanzibar at nauseum sometimes. You probably get tired of me talking about it, but it's just that amazing that I want to tell everyone about this fragrance on top of it being inspired by my trip to Zanzibar. So um, I love it. We'll talk about that later. I'm head over heels and I have a new one that I will be talking about at nauseum as well because it is absolutely amazing. Um, this fragrance house is not for the fainted heart, okay? Um, it, is, it is for the exquisite fragrance lover. It is for the luxurious, lush, somebody that wants something very unique um, yet beautiful as well. So if you are interested in exquisite fragrances, um, exquisite perfumery then you guys please listen and if you want to dive into exquisite perfumery exquisite niche perfumery then you need to continue to um, to watch and give your girl a thumbs up so the very first one we're going to be talking about today we had like I said we had an amazing live with Ahmed and with Shadi which is a beautiful perfumer over on Instagram so the very first one we're going to be talking about today which is their new release it should be releasing today um, I'm dropping this video on on January the 24th and it is released today you can actually purchase this from the site for all of the um, people in the USA they are now shipping to America and then in about three weeks if you somehow don't want to purchase from memoirs of a perfume collector site then you can wait until they are at lucky scent and at sealed essence which I have purchased most of my um, fragrances from as well this one was gifted to me um, and I'm absolutely loving it you guys um, you all know that I love a good mango fragrance a good luxurious tropical uh, mango scent or fragrance in general so when they said they were coming out with a mango I was a little scared when I heard that it had the note of leather inside and oud uh, but then when I initially sprayed this fragrance you all this was a love upon first sniff when I sprayed it literally I wanted to cuss okay um, that is how good this fragrance is there's they do have the new packaging which is really sleek very sterile clean um, absolutely love the packaging it's very simplistic you know sometimes simplicity is best um, you know the inside is the same it comes with the card inside um, the bottle is gorgeous the, the um the plaques are different. Well, it's not a plaque. It's a um, like a sticker. It's different, but it's smooth. The other ones have the paper, and I'll show you that as well. But I love the bottle. It's simple, yet sophisticated and very sleek. And it's securely housed inside. 
love the gold tops um they have the emblem which i think is the tree of life on the top absolutely love the meaning of the tree of life um so we're going to be talking about trouble in paradise by memoirs of a perfume collector and the perfumer is shoddy okay um amazing he's done fragrances by fragrance dubois um recently lovers he had his hand in that one and y'all i absolutely love lovers too but we're going to be talking about trouble in Par paradise but i do love trouble in paradise paradise more than I love the lovers but they're both beautiful um, anyway this is a mango centered fragrance juicy succulent mango there's two different types of booze in here there's cognac there's rum there's oud ambergris there's caramel there's a beautiful amber in here as well and there's leather okay um, like I said I was a little scared initially when I heard the notes but I was like you know what this house is their perfumes are so exquisite so i know they're gonna give me something that i absolutely love i was hoping so like i said upon initial spray of this fragrance you definitely get the fragrance is mango through and through okay exquisite juicy tropical um exotic mango just really succulent mango like that peachy mango um it is sweet now it is not there's list there's a note listed of caramel but it's not too caramelly i think the caramel just adds a little bit of sweetness to it but it's through and through mango like shoddy said um you have mango and then you have all the other surrounding notes that are there to support the mango fragrance um so like I said, there's mango, cognac, there's a beautiful warm spicy you note know, of cardamom, there's bergamot rum, there's leather, there's violet, there's moss, there's ambergris, um, there's amber, there's ooh, there's sandalwood, there's all this stuff in this fragrance. But what I get from the fragrance is a juicy, succulent, nectarous mango. Um, you also get the oud and the leather. Um, the leather is in the heart, excuse me. Uh, but I get the oud and the leather off top. It's a very soft oud, smells more like a suede oud, a baby oud, a very soft leather. It's blended to perfection, you all. Um, like I said, it is complex. It is beautifully complex, and I absolutely love this fragrance. But if you are a mango, lover then you need to get your nose on this fragrance if you are scared of leather and oud do not be afraid of leather and oud because it is in like small moderate to small doses this fragrance is not linear it completely transitions so in the opening you get that warm spicy cardamom you get that fresh bergamot you get that succulent juicy sweet mango that bergamot adds a little bit of freshness almost like a little bit of tartness to it um, all the way through until the mid you get more of that warm spicy cardamom you get a little bit of bit more of that rounded leather that I absolutely love but it's a very soft leather a very luxurious leather you get that I get that oud all the way through but it's a very lovable oud y'all non-animalic oud you get that fresh ambergris and that mixture of that mango together y'all it is absolutely stunning now in the dry down um there's a little bit the mango becomes a little softer in the dry down and you do get a little bit of that uh violet i think it almost smells like an irisy violet it kind of calms leather and iris they just go together y'all okay those are two notes that are amazing together so you get almost like a slight powdery creamy leathery iris um, or a leathery violet which smells like a little bit of an iris a non lipsticky violety iris um, it is absolutely beautiful on top of the leather on top of a more of subdued mango and the dry down but like I said the mango is present the entire time of the fragrance y'all it is good it is sexy it is intoxicating you can wear this fragrance 365 days a year most amazing in the summer and i think you would get more of that mango in the summer do not spray this fragrance on paper um, their fragrances are meant to be sprayed on skin they deal with a lot of natural materials a lot of exquisite materials so when it when it comes to like musk um, they use a lot of a uh, deer musk but synthetic deer musk of course um, you know the ambergris on your skin becomes airy and fresh and that mango you all 
this fragrance house, like I said, spray them on your skin. Monitor and watch the transition, the perfume as it transitions on your skin. It is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. But today, okay, remember I told you back then, Mango Skin was my favorite fragrance. Cruz del Sur 2, this beats them all, okay? This is my number one mango fragrance today because it is so beautiful. It's sexy, it's exquisite, it's luxurious. It's, it is all that you want in a mango fragrance. And the blend on this fragrance is absolutely stunning and you have to get your nose on it. This is unisex across the board. It's a little sweeter um, or you just get like a true mango fragrance in that opening. I don't believe, to my nose, it's not like a green mango like most mango fragrances but you do get the brightness of that bergamot and that succulent mango. Um, I love it. It is unisex. Um, get your nose on it, y'all. Like I said, this is my favorite mango fragrance today. Shoddy and all the creative directors. Ahmad, you did an amazing job on this fragrance and I'm loving it. Um, it has the, it looks like the Maldives, but there's a storm. This is like the perfect storm, okay? This fragrance is the perfect storm, the perfect blend, the perfect everything, and I'm loving it. Get your nose on it. Exquisite, okay? Exquisite, y'all. All right, so enough talking about that one. I'm gonna slide in, okay? My favorites, y'all know, and I don't know, because I know somebody's gonna ask me in the comment, which one is your favorite since you talked about Tales from Zanzibar more? I love them equally the same because they are both outstanding and amazing, okay? So Tales from Zanzibar, y'all already know, okay? <laughs> It is gorgeous, it is boozy, it is sweet. You get those candied fruits, you get some red fruits, um, you get some ambergris, you get that transparent oud, and you get an amazing, a stunning, juicy, succulent note of guava in here, you all. It smells coconutty. Um, it's just, it's it's gorgeous. I don't know what to say about it, but I've been talking about it for ages, you all. So um, you should know very well about Tales from Zanzibar. So in here you have your lime, the juiciness of the lime. You have some red mandarin, pink pepper, coconut, guava musk, cocktail, candied fruits, ambergris, moss, and oud. I know a lot of people don't like, like I said, this is a transparent oud, low dose baby oud to me that I absolutely love. To me, to my nose, is almost non-existent just like the oud it's a now um there's a little more oud in uh trouble in paradise than it is in or animalic notes uh in trouble in paradise than it is in tales from zanzibar um so yes it's i don't believe any of these are mass appealing fragrances but i would say if you had to choose one or the other if you um are like not a, a huge fan of oud then you need to choose some tales tales from zanzibar uh but y'all you gotta you know just um, up your game, you know, just become, you know, a fragrance kind of sore and try different things. You are, you guys, I'm sure you would absolutely love them and get your nose experience different fragrance houses, excuse me, experience in di different fragrance houses and different things. Uh, but like I said, lime, coconut, guava for days, um, slight oudy, transparent oud. You get that moss just for that freshness. That ambergris is amazing in this fragrance, you all. Anyway, I'm loving it. Tells from Zanzibar, you already know. Talked about it for about a year now, and it's stunning, okay? Um, another one that they have, if you love the note of leather and um, some fruity notes and leather, which I think is slightly more masculine, but I'm seriously thinking about getting it. Um, and this fragrance is Beyond the Pashtun Summit. Um, I love the note of pomegranate and the leather combination in that fragrance. They know how to do a good um, you know, non-heady, non-offensive leather. The blends are absolutely amazing. So in Beyond the Pashtun Summit, you got your hashish. It's like a warm, spicy uh, pomegranate with a cardamom. I think there's a cardamom in there, but maybe it's the hashish and the spices. Um, you have your pomegranate, you have your divana, which is not too green, just warm, spicy, kind of earthy. You have your leather, oud, um, your deer musk, and sandalwood. If you are a oud lover, 
lover, if you are a leather lover, then you need to try Beyond the Posh Tune Summit. It is not too fruity. Um, this fragrance house, the performance is amazing on every single one of their fragrances. So hands down, performance across the board is about eight to 10 hours on skin, okay? On clothes, it's days, all right? Um, also, we're gonna talk about um, a night in Marrakesh. Um, I love a night in Marrakesh. I've spoken about this before. Um, it reminds me of a night in Marrakesh when I spent those days in Morocco. So in a night in Marrakesh, you have your vetiver, you have some almond, cardamom, you have a, a good note of coffee. Um, you have some Moroccan, burger, Moroccan? Uh, cardamom. I think I wrote Moroccan bergamot in here. Um, you also have your blonde tobacco, Moroccan rose. You have, there's a lot of notes in this fragrance. You have your saffron, ginger, amber, Cambodian oud, sandalwood, honey. So what I get from this fragrance is a very warm, spicy, ambery, cardamomy, you know, cardamomy. <laughs> Um, slightly coffee honeyed fragrance with a beautiful note. It's a little woody, but you get that ambery, woody, warm, spicy, amber and cardamom and sandalwood in this fragrance, you all. Uh, but it's coffee. You do get the note of coffee in here, the coffee and the honey, you know. And I absolutely love it. It's warm, spicy. It reminds you of walking through the markets in Morocco, like the soup markets with all the spices and the fires and the lanterns and all of that. And it's a non-animalic honey. So if you don't like the note of honey, you may still love this fragrance, you know? It just smells um, like a very, the honey just adds warmth to the fragrance. But I love it, you guys. Um, and this is a night in Marrakesh. Get your nose on it. Absolutely stunning fragrance. All right, the next one we're going to talk about, and I love it because it's like a vanilla, a rich, warm, vanilla-based espresso fragrance. It's called Origins of a Collector. Um, I also think this fragrance is called London as well, um, but Origins of a Collector, if you love a good espresso, if you love a good coffee note, then you're going to love this fragrance. So in Origins of a Collector, you have your Olibana, you have a strong black espresso, but it's a very wearable coffee espresso fragrance um, you have your patchouli peru balsam amber and bread and musk so y'all this is so good what i get is a rich peru balsam in this fragrance you have your amber a very warm rich espresso coffee that warmness that creaminess from the ambrette and the musk it's not too musky but you get that almost an almondy warm creaminess um not a latte uh, because it is very dark coffee heavy uh, but very wearable but that vanilla the ambrette the musk um you know the Peru balsam in here, y'all. It's absolutely stunning. Um, this is Origins of a Collector. Now, they do have a disco the discovery kit. So, um, I'm not telling you to blind buy anything, okay? Because I believe you need to sample this house and then, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to be a good influence. Um, sample the house. But for me, Trouble in Paradise and Tales from Zanzibar, you know, are my, ooh, y'all, those are my number one. Then A Night in Marrakesh, okay? And then Origins of a Collector. I love them. They're absolutely amazing. Um, the bottle is gorgeous. The juice is dark. Um, here, there's the Tree of Life in the back. Oh, I didn't show you guys in Tales from Zanzibar. You have the sands and the waters of Zanzibar as well in this fragrance. All right, that is it. Now, one that I have sampled multiple times that I don't have a full bottle of, um, and maybe I will, is Musk Mantra. It's a beautiful, fresh, airy, and bready deer, a musky scent. If you love musk, if you love a natural smelling musk, um, slightly animalic, um, then you need to try Musk Mantra. But you definitely need to sample that fragrance in Musk Mantra. Um, there's a slight floral note, a slight creamy floral note in that fragrance. So you have your Night Blooming Cerise, um, Accord, you have your Cinnamon Bark, slightly warm spicy, but you don't get a hefty cinnamon in that fragrance. Um, you have your Floral Notes, 
and some orris roots. You have some embret deer and a deer musk accord. Um, it's not, we don't use natural deer musk anymore, you guys. Well, not in America at least, uh, but it's beautiful. It's musky, slightly almondy, creamy. Um, you get a background note of some florals, like some creamy florals, but literally it's a musky, slightly floral, a little sweet from that embret, y'all. It's absolutely amazing, but you gotta love musk to um, love musk mantra. Um, I already talked about Beyond the Pashtun Summit, and another one we have is um, Beautiful Bottle as well, and this is Cote d'Azur, also called Meet Me Where the Sky Touches the Sea, and I really wish I had this fragrance when I was on my trip, because when I was on my cruise, I literally saw where the sky touched the sea. Watch the sunsets every day, and it so reminded me of this fragrance. So now, in this fragrance, it's marine slightly marine um, like a light airy marine because there's sea salt in here you know it's musky it's a little creamy um, very airy as well so in meet me where the sky touches the sea you have your mimosa heliotrope you have some florentine iris um, suede, leather, ambergris, vetiver, and cedarwood. Um, this one, I would say, is unisex. To me, it gives a little bit of a, a masculine edge because of the vetiver, the cedarwood. Um, you know, the mimosa is just making it airy. It's a little salty or marine, but it's more of like a creamy, airy, salty marine. You know, it smells like you're sailing on the waters. You get that suede in here, uh, which is very beautiful as well. Um, it says floral notes, but I don't get any floral notes from this fragrance. I literally get a creamy, salty, slightly marine, not too salty. Um, let's just say a marine suede leather very airy a creamy scent um, this fragrance is unique in its own way um, definitely not a safe blind buy you need to love suede or leather to love this fragrance a musky suede airy fresh slightly marine centered fragrance for this um, to love this fragrance you guys I absolutely love it. Most amazing for the summer, like the spring summer. But like I said, this fragrance, when I wear it on my skin, oh, it sings in the summertime. And I'm absolutely loving it. Very unique. Um, they play no games when it comes to exquisite, unique perfumery in this fragrance house, you guys. But you got to get your nose on it. Um, and then the last one they have that I don't have a full bottle of um, is Lost in the Desert. And that Pompona Vanilla, I think that will probably be my next bottle, Lost in the Desert. The Pompona Vanilla in there, initially when you spray it, you get that myrrh, that frankincense, that really rich, warm, spicy scent. And then in the dry down, the mid, the dry down, after about like 10 minutes, maybe like five, 10 minutes, on your skin, you get a rich dose of Pompona vanilla or vanilla and I think Pompona may be like a Mexican vanilla um, I'm not quite sure but that vanilla y'all on your skin it's absolutely amazing the frankincense you all I don't think yeah there's myrrh in here and there as well I'm like I know I got frankincense and myrrh the oud in here is not too heavy and lost in the desert it definitely reminds you of the sandy warm deserts because of that warm vanilla scent on your skin and the warmness of the frankincense I think in my last um um, review I said this fragrance literally reminds you of the three wise men okay because it's that warm spicy like a not a uh, churchy and scentsy uh, but that frankincense it's warm spicy it's vanilla minimal oud in here um, and there's Indian jasmine as well it's not an animalic jasmine it's a beautiful jasmine that just adds to the sexiness and the uniqueness of the fragrance y'all um, so anyway I think I've spoken about all of their fragrances so we have um, the new one that is released today and you need to get your nose on because I am loving it trouble in paradise mango centered you have your tales from Zanzibar which is guava centered guava and lime centered beautiful ambergris, um, uh, slightly transparent oud. You have a night in Marrakesh, which is a beautiful, warm, spicy, slightly coffee, honeyed, cardamom, rich, warm fragrance. Um, lots of spices, and that one needs to be sprayed on skin as well. Um, you have your Beyond the Pashtun Summit, which is a pomegranate and leather fragrance. Um, you have your Origins of a Collector, uh, which is a coffee-centered, dark espresso fragrance. Delicious for my coffee lovers out there. 
um, Lost in the Desert Vanilla for Days, Warm Spicy Vanilla for Days. And then you have your Meet Me Where the Sky Touches the Sea, Cote d'Azur, uh, which is not a safe blind buy, but I absolutely love it. It's a warm, airy, fresh, you know, van um, warm, airy, fresh, slightly musky and bready sea salty marine fragrance that you definitely need for the summer worn on skin as well y'all anyway um that is all go on to the world spread amazing see how do good be good and get your nose on memoirs of a perfume collector's fragrances they do sell the uh, discovery kits now at lucky scent and at sealed essence and over on the site as well so until the actual fragrance um, the new fragrance drops, then you can just still, you know, discover the fragrance house via Discovery Kits, you guys. All right, go on to the world, spread amazing, see how you do good, be good, all of that, and love you all. Bye-bye.